Hi there, this is Steve Pisani, one of the owners of the Angelico Guitars. Victor Baker, head luthier in New York. So we could take a moment and show you some of our beautiful new deluxe series guitars. The first one is, this is the deluxe EX59. Features Seymour Duncan pickups, P90s. Features Grover locking machines, right there. Also, we have extra jumbo frets on this guitar. Flat back uh, finish. The next one is the Deluxe DH. This is interesting. Besides our signature D'Angelico tailpiece, we have our ebony knobs, and we have a six-way switch. Features humbucking, both humbucking, then we have single coil. So you have plenty of different varieties in the sound. Also, this also features locking Grover machines. This is the Deluxe EX-175. It's a great guitar for people who really dig in and rock, like Victor. <laughs> what we have here is um, uh, uh, the Ebony Knobs, Bigsby uh, tailpiece, locking machines on this guitar. Also features the six-way switch. This is one of our most famous, most popular models. This is the EXSS Deluxe model. Same flat back finish, a popular D'Angelico stair step tailpiece, ebony knobs, the six way switch, and I'll review that again. Single coil, single coil, single coil, humbucking, humbucking, humbucking. Of course, locking machines and jumbo frets. Now to our flagship, the EXL1. Floating Seymour Duncan pickup, our famous D'Angelico stair step tailpiece, locking machines, jumbo frets. This is our most popular model. It's a signature D'Angelico type instrument. This is the EXDC Deluxe series. This one happens to be stop tail, Seymour Duncan pickups, locking machines, our famous D'Angelico logo, jumbo frets, and again, the six way switch. Finishing it off with ebony knobs. I see we have one of our new D'Angelico teardrop master built guitars built by you. Yes, I, I built this guitar in our uh, custom shop in New York. Uh, worked from all kinds of old vintage pictures of the original and we decided to do a bluebirds finish on it. These are all uh, Italian cello woods uh, used for the, the soundboard and the back plate and uh, deluxe appointments. A pleasure to build. This is a new master builder that we have for this year. Victor ended up doing a New Yorker with a cutaway. Right, this is the uh, first New Yorker made back in New York. Uh, all Italian cello woods, premium, premium materials, flame maple, deeply flame maple. Uh, yeah. Throwback. Throwback pickups. Split block inlay on this one. Mm -hmm. The last one we want to talk about is this one. This is an interesting project that we're working on. Yeah, this is a guitar we took measurements from a vintage instrument directly. Uh, we're still waiting on the, uh, the DRM and pickup to, to install it, but this is a replica of a uh, early 30s Excel vintage guitar. I noticed the um, F-Halls are a little different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the original design from uh, that John used back in, the, uh, back in the 30s. Any of the guitars Victor could build uh, specifically for the customer. So if there's a certain model, like this guitar, and you would want it in Blue Burst, we could build it for you. These are the collectibles of tomorrow that you can buy today. And Victor is one of the most renowned builders in the world. Thanks. I'm glad to have you with us. Ah, Thank you.
Hi, Steve Pisani from the Angelico Guitars, and I'm very, 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 very excited to show you our new artist signature model, Fabrizio Salte's instrument. Hey, Steve, how's it going? How's it going, my brother? Good. Let's go over this, baby. Yeah, so this is my new uh, EXS D'Angelico Fabrizio Salte signature model. So we made a few changes. Uh, we can start from the pickups. We're using Seymour Duncan. SH2 Jazz pickup and SH4 Jeff back pickup. Then we uh, changed the fretboard, so we're using some wire now that is would be comparable to a Dunlop 16100. And then we also changed the tuning machines. You know, now we have special machines, so it's a little bit easier to change strings. And we picked this beautiful, like figured maple type of uh, finish. Right, and the coolest thing is 12th fret, show them baby. Yeah, on the 12th fret, you guys got my signature, I signed all of them, I signed all the labels inside, so it's, it's the real deal. It's a great <laughs> guitar, so uh, go out and check it out, you'll love it. Yeah. Now, we also did a one-of-a-kind performance guitar made by our master builder, Victor Baker. This is a similar um, instrument, but it, it's more like a, a real archtop guitar where we have uh, the, the back and sides, you know, is a figure maple. And uh, we have a, a real soundboard, a real spruce top, Italian spruce top, ebony fingerboards. And uh, so this is, a, you know, more of, a, you know, a little bit less versatile, a real jazz box when this one is a little bit more versatile. But we're planning also to do some of these, you sure. know, in a, you know, Korean now, made. That one, that pick up the natural one. Yeah. That one, people can play blues, jazz, Yeah, and this rock. one is very versatile. You can play from blues to rock and roll, rock blues. And this one is more like really for like just a more jazz acoustic type of thing. Right. Now, this one, we also did something cool with the reverse zebra coils too. Yeah. This is, if you guys notice, these are the, the, the zebra goes, you know, on, on reverse. So these are like reverse of the reverse re right. zebra, it's very which cool. is kind of cool. Yeah. It's kind of different. So. Another thing we like is, we touched on it before, is the um, Spurzel machines. Turn it around, Fabrizio. Yeah. Spurzel machines. They lock. They lock, so you, know, you can change the strings. I go on tour all the time, so I change strings once or twice a day, so you know, I got to do it quick. And also, we didn't put all this... Uh, you know, Inlay. inlays, you know, we just have the dots inlays, which is a, a little modern, more modern take. Now, these guitars, we only made 20 of them. Each one has a signed uh, label by Fabrizio. Each one's numbered individually. It's a collector's item, and it's a great D'Angelico guitar.